Survivor Recap What's the best way to blindside someone? After days on end with little food and almost no sleep, it's hard to keep your wits. Stephen Fishbuck has been blogging about Survivor strategy for people since 2009. He is the host of the podcast Paraphrase, where he interviews writers about the openings to their novels. Follow him on Twitter at, at Stephen Fishbuck. Eric Reichenbach is a former two-time Survivor fan slash favorite and comic book artist. Follow him on Twitter at Eric Reich and 4CH. Always keep your guard up. You never know when people are trying to trick you. There's a lot of actors here, a lot of poker faces. Earl Cole, winner. The best way to blindside someone on Survivor is to involve them in a fake plot to blindside someone else. That way, they're so busy twirling their mustaches with their own devious moves, that they never see your moves coming. Victoria wins the Fishy Award this week for engaging Aubrey in plots and counterplots. Aubrey lowers her guard and gets sent home with an idol and an extra vote in her pocket. Brief pause to wonder why Devens, Reem, and Keith, all of whom were at one point aligned with Wendy, didn't send her the extra vote, preferring instead to help out a stranger they'd never met. Um guys, Wendy was a loyal ally to every one of you, related, allies turn on each other after a wild edge of extinction swap when Manu somehow loses an immunity challenge to Lesu, Victoria, Gavin, and Eric want to eliminate Aubrey, but they're worried she might have an idol. Plus, she's a devious player, and who knows what tricks she has up her sleeve. Victoria comes up with a plan to involve Aubrey in a counter scheme with Wendy, so that she doesn't get suspicious. Victoria approaches Aubrey on the beach, and suggests an all-girl alliance. She plays the moment perfectly. I think you're the only I trust even a little bit right now, she tells Aubrey. Sounds like a productive dialogue. The best part about Victoria's plan is that she gives herself options. While she's plotting with Eric and Gavin to deceive Aubrey, she's also plotting with Aubrey to deceive Eric and Gavin. Yes, we know that her actual goal is to take out the vets. But if things go sideways, Victoria has an escape hatch. Comically, the fake plan to blindside Eric gets stuck with Wendy, who refuses to go along with it. But the manual alliance compensates, and pretends instead they're going to vote for Wendy. They even have a fun tagline, Forge this foreign fire. While Victoria is being devious, Aubrey makes a classic survivor mistake. She assumes that the rest of her tribe isn't being strategic, because they're not being strategic with her. She says in one interview that her tribe is asleep from the comical Kool-Aid. When Victoria approaches her, she says in surprise, she's been sneaky awake the whole time. It's easy to get lost in your own schemes and your own headspace. But on Survivor, you should always assume everyone has a plan. 